gave me the beating of my life. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Genevieve Petena, aka Chocolate Puma. Guys, I am so so grateful for the love you guys showed on the first video. The subscriptions were crazy the love was massive the sharing the comments and everything i am so happy for that please guys continue watching continue sharing and if you didn't subscribe kindly subscribe and also please if you subscribe without watching the video youtube immediately takes out your subscription so it doesn't count please i'm trying to make these videos as short as possible so uh, you guys don't say it was too long i couldn't watch kindly watch the video share and subscribe leave a comment give me thumbs up and if you're just stumbling on this video for the first time please subscribe don't forget the thumbs up don't forget to comment don't forget to share with your friends so today i'll be telling you um, a story how i blackmailed my mom for 10 years or more and if you want to know why i'm sharing this story stay tuned <laughs> so back in the days um our parents used to be very protective like they were going crazy be protective of us and all and back in my home the living hair was flogged out of you if you didn't do things properly and we also as girls my mom had two girls but my sister is really calm she could stay home for a whole year without going out she doesn't care but ah uh, me I was just like, why? Why are we not allowed to do this? Why are we not allowed to go out? Why are we not allowed? Like, my dad would take us out, yeah, but you on your own, you were not allowed to go out, visit friends or whatever. No, that was just a no for my mom. She was, I don't know why she was so scared. Maybe because uh, we grew up in this area where a lot of things happen. We have... Uh, got a lot of crazy things going on and she just had to protect us but it was crazy and so you had literally no excuse to give to be out because each time you were given an excuse to go out that thing will be immediately bought for you like this is the deal I was always saying oh I'm going to the internet I'm going to the internet and then before you knew it there's this uh, internet key um, we used to use back in the days for internet it, it's like a USB you plug it on your laptop and uh, it gives you internet you could also share Wi-Fi and this so my mom got it because I was always like oh, I'm going to the internet I'm going to the internet and so she uh, 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 no more internet for you you know what let me just get this key and let me see what excuse you give and so this day uh, my mom was at work she normally returns from more like four or five something like that uh, i just got back from school and i was like ah, let me just go down the street was there to be home all the time all the time and fortunately for me that day my mom came back earlier than before and met me on the road standing and talking to this guy but trust me at that point of my life i was in form three and i had no 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 uh, sexual relationships with nobody no I wasn't into that yet but then I had male friends and I stood on the road talking to this guy who was only asking me a question why my friend wasn't the school because we used to go to the same school and my mom made me talking to this guy and she went crazy she immediately brought me home locked me up in her room you know gave me the beating of my life I was locked up in her room and God she was beating me and saying oh they never said you're always with this guy they never said you're doing this you're doing that and ah back in the days we had mothers in the in the place who spent time just reporting us to our parents even if we didn't do anything <sighs> what was the reason now that I'm all grown I'm like what was the reason so my mom flogged the living hair out of me on that day and she was insisting that oh tell me the guy you're having sex with are you having sex yet are you doing this I, and i was like no 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 but the beatings was getting too much for me to support and 
I thought maybe by telling her, yes, I'm having sex, she was going to stop beating me. But the moment I said, yes, I'm having sex, it went from all directions. Like, I brought her the devil out of her. She flogged me. And I don't know how I managed to escape from that room. It's like she went out to get something, maybe drink water to recharge her energy for me. And then I escaped from the room and ran to my auntie's house. It was a crazy experience. And I don't know how she realized later that day that I had really not been having sex yet. I was not into any uh, sexual relationships with nobody yet. And she didn't apologize though. But um, when I realized she knew... I wasn't having sex and she had beaten me for no reasons I started blackmailing her like if I did anything and they shouted at me or uh, I'll just be like oh you remember that day you beat me up in the room like I, I didn't do anything and I just got beaten like that do you remember I'm still mad at you for that thing and I will get whatever I wanted to get so each time she did or anytime I did something wrong I always say, oh, do you remember that day you beat me up for nothing? Like, I literally did nothing and you flopped the living hell out of me. Uh, she would change and be like, oh, okay, yes, but it's been long. Why are you still talking about that? It's a past story and this and this and that. Guys, anyways, the reason why I'm sharing this story is to let you guys know, please, please, please never accept something you didn't do. Even if you feel like uh, you saying, oh yes, I did that thing, it's going to remove you from a bad situation. No, it could maybe tarnish your reputation, uh, um, make you or make people see you in a different way. Uh, people will not realize you're telling a lie because you want to save yourself from a bad situation. So please, never you accept anything you didn't do never you accept anything on behalf of anyone never you accept anything because you're trying to save anyone because who knows what if you go for prison for that what if you get beaten like i got beaten but yeah so that's the thing that's why i'm sharing this story and i blackmailed my mom till 2019 i let go of saying oh yeah you remember that day you flogged me something i didn't do <laughs> and ever since then i didn't say because oh well, my mom kept on begging but it's been a long time why is talking about this thing and sometimes she was even uh sad like i don't know if she was crying but yeah that's just it i kept saying you flogged me for something i didn't do but please don't accept anything you didn't do for no reason Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click on the subscription button leave a comment give me thumbs up please 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 guys watch the video and subscribe so that your subscriptions will not be for nothing thank you so much for the love i appreciate you for watching and see you on the next video bye bye love you all